Hi and welcome everyone to my video. In today's Photoshop tutorial, I am going to show you how to make colors pop on your image just in few simple steps in Photoshop. Before we start, I want to tell you a few things about my new course I've made on similar subject as the one we will be doing today. Layers, masks, adjustment layers, blending modes and luminosity masks. If you want to master those things, make sure you will check the link in the description. And now we are going to start our tutorial. So this is the image before and this is the result after. Now I am going to remove the group to start this from very beginning. The major part of making the colors pop will be adjustment layer hue saturation. Not many people know that hue saturation gives you a lot of option to work selectively with each color. To do this, you have to choose this small hand next to the sign master where you can choose different colors you want to work with. But this hand here, when it's selected, helps you to pick the exact color that you want to work on. So for example, I am going to start from this yellow building. I am going to hit this with eyedropper and then I am going to increase the saturation of this building. To make sure you will not affect any other parts, on the very bottom, you can decrease the range that you want to be affected. So I'm going to cut out the greens so I will make sure that only this yellow color will be stronger. Then I still have this hand chosen. I will go with this sort of orangey red building here. I'm going to hit and this color is recognized as reds. So now again, I am going to increase the reds. As you can notice, I also increase this oranges here because of the range is too wide. So I'm going to decrease the range a little bit cut the oranges as much as I can. And as you can see, we made these buildings pop. So there will be few more things that you can do, but also what if I have two colors so similar, so they can't be recognized any different. So for example, this yellow and orange could be actually recognized as similar color or this orange and this red could be recognized as the very similar color. Then you choose the color here that doesn't exist on the image um, or exist in small parts that you don't care. So for example, I have blues, I have greens here on the windows. So more likely I would go with magentas, maybe a little bit here, uh, but it shouldn't be a problem. And I want to work with this orange. So now these magentas will be replaced by this color that I will choose here. So I choose magentas, then I choose the eyedropper from the bottom, not this hand, and now choose. And this color is replaced as reds number two because reds number one is already this one. Reds number two is this orange. So whether I want to increase the saturation or decrease, I can work with this. I can also change the range of this. So I want to cut out reds to not affect and a little decrease of the saturation of this one. Now I will go to the reds number one, increase this part because this part I want strong. And now my image has better balance. Also, I can see I have some blue. I'm going to the hand. I pick the blue. I want to make this uh, more saturated. And this is actually the science in this case. And I don't see it was strongly affected. We can go more. Now it's recognized as blue. I increase saturation even more. And what you can do, you can also change the hue of this color. So for example, whether you want more cyan or with another color, if you want to change it, you can manipulate with this hue here. So if I would like to have my sky to be more cyan, I would go to the left. If I want this to be more purple, I would go to the right. And this is the image I like. Before and after. If you don't want to affect the light values, you can always change the blending mode to color and then you will not change the light. If the image is too dark and you want to make it brighter, we can simply go, for example, to levels, increase the contrasts a little bit and also manipulate with this slider in the center to increase 
the brightness of the midtones. And then the image not only have more colors, but it it's also brighter. Thank you for watching. Once again, if you are interested in more information about adjustment layers, blending modes, luminosity mass that will help you not only with working on the photography, but also work you help you with some design projects. Um, if you your work require knowing Photoshop, I think knowing mask layers is really important to start with. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to talk to you very soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.